Real quick, go check out the bait mate here. Hopefully I can get the ones I wanted from last time. Give me a hand, bro. Okay, let's go. Let's loot the bags. Okay. So we've got them too. Hey guys, what is up? It's me and Jay Pineapple. Today we're going to be reviewing um, these two little uh, booster packs. Um, we're going to be reviewing um, Doom Sizer uh, Oval XL and Wyvern and uh, Riveron um, the Massive. So yes, we're going to be reviewing these two new Beyblades from Beyblade Burst. Um, yes, so yes. Uh, these are the two new uh, little things that came out in Wave 2, little starter packs, you know, little booster packs. Uh, they all basically have this type of packaging. Uh, basically, uh, Do Doom Sizer's packaging is a little less messed up. But basically, it just showed the Beyblade here, and it had, like, some instruction sheet and the Beyblade itself. So, yeah, this one's Doom Sizer's. And this one's obviously Wyverons. If you guys do want to read the stats for Doom Sizer, um, you guys can pause now for Doom Sizer. And you guys can pause for the stats for Wyveron. Stuff like that. So, yes. Um, first off, we'll just have a little look at Wyveron. And. So basically, this is Wyveron right here. Um, I really do think that this is the best looking, um, one, of the, one of the best looking recolors Hasbro's done. I actually think it looks cool with this blue little paint they shoved here uh, in with the purple, mixed with the purple. And I also think the yellow looks pretty cool as well. Um, it's just a shame that they get, gave us a blue massive, a solid blue massive. Um, I do wish that they'd go with the translucent drivers that Takaratomi did, but... Um, yeah, they just decided to do their own thing, which, uh, kind of sucks, but, you know, it's, it's okay at the same time, you know, I don't really care, we're getting Beyblade Burst. Anyway, um, up the top there, you guys can see, um, there's a little silver little, I don't know, that might be the Wyvern, Wyvern, I don't know, but it's got a little bit of, um, silver paint inside there, and a little bit of a, uh, yellow eye, which looks really cool. Um, of course, um, that's just the layer. Um, the disc is armed, and, you know, or whatever Hasbro wants to call it, the T D10, D10, okay. <laughs> um, basically, this is the same as Takara Tome, it's just a little bit more shiny, because it's new. And uh, here is Massive, aka TD02. So, yes, this is a defense-type Beyblade, but uh, Massive is basically like defense, except it's a little bigger than defense, you know. Yeah, I don't think it's as good as defense either. It's not really. But, um, yeah, they popped that in a solid blue. And of course, you know, they have the M for massive, which doesn't really show in the Beyblade anyway. But anyway, Wyveron. That's the single layer version of Wyveron. Now, moving on to the single layer version of uh, Death Scyther, or Doom Scyther, as Hasbro likes to call it. I do have the Takara Tommy version here to compare. So, first off, we'll just have a look at Hasbro's. And, uh, you know, I do think that this looks really cool. Um, I do like the red paint that just comes right down here. Uh, that looks cool. Um, also, the purple stuff that they put down here looks actually pretty decent. And the silver over here actually makes the um, little uh, yellow eye there stand out a lot more, which is um, really good of Hasbro. I, I do like this, this this layer. It looks cool. I think it looks better than the um, Sakaratomi layer, which I used to think looked amazing. But I do like the Hasbro one. A little bit better, but uh, you know, uh, one of my favorite layers, um, Doom Size or Death Cipher is my favorite layer, so yes, yeah, my favorite single layer. Um, Oval is practically the same, you guys can see, uh, it's just that this one is a little shiny than this one because I've been using this one for ages, so yeah. Obviously, the main difference is the driver 
and uh, yeah, the driver, this is like a solid red, and then this is like a translucent purple, which looks great. But uh, yeah, you guys can tell that Hasbro's Beyblade Burst is on slopes. Now, if you guys do want to read the um, code, uh, I'm not going to miss some of the codes this time, I'm not. If you guys do want to scan the code, you guys can do that in your Beyblade Burst app. Okay. Done that for Doom Sizer. Now it's time to pop it for Wyveron and not mess up again. There's Wyveron. Okay. So. Uh, we're going to have a little test battle between Wyveron and Doom Sizer. So, let's go straight to the stadium now, guys. Okay, so we're just going to have a little test battle between these two blades. Um, Wyvern, um, to Massive, and uh, Death Scythe over the Cell. Hasbro version. So, let's go. Keep in mind, this is a test battle. Um, yeah, that SL over there is actually a lot different to Takara Tomo, so I forgot to tell you. I forgot to mention to you guys, um, first finish to uh, Wyveron, um, that is uh, Doom Sizer's point. But, um, yeah, I did forget to mention something about um, the SL driver. Um, sort of more of a semi-flat um, style driver uh, instead of... Um, the more flat SL that Kotomi has, and I'm not sure if you guys can see that or not. But yeah, um, it's a little more um, angled. Oh, duh! <laughs> I was trying to pop the um, the SL driver on the um, Hasbro version because it looks similar. But yeah. Anyway, um. Yeah, we're just going to have, um, I'll do a test launch for this, uh, Death Scyther. Can't tell me. You guys can see it's a lot more aggressive, um, than Hasbro's Doom Sizer. Let's go. Now, that wasn't quite a fair launch, because that was sort of light. We'll do another one. Yes, I did put the same amount of power in there, and it's a lot less aggressive, but anyway, um, this is just going to be the final battle between uh, the Takara Tomy Death Scyther Oval Cell and the Hasbro Doom Sizer um, Oval Cell, so let's go. We're going to do the Takara Tomy one first. <laughs> Um, Doom Sizer. So I guess that's Death Scyther's point there. Pretty interesting. Um, yeah, anyway, we're just going to, um, see how good, uh, Wyvern's, Wyvern's defense is. Um, we're going to pop him up against, uh, Yugen Yidrion. So let's go, guys. Wyvern got bursted by um, Yidrion Y2, or Yugen Yidrion, as they say in the anime. So, yes, uh, keep in mind, guys, this is a very good uh, defensive Beyblade, um, Yugen Yidrion. It's a really, really OP Beyblade. But anyway, um, I do still think this Wyvern is pretty cool and it needs to be given another chance. So, we'll give him another chance. We'll do a final battle, final test battle. Let's go. Oh, that's some good defense there. The shots were there. Doom Sizer definitely gave those hard shots to Wyvern. Doesn't seem like Wyvern's gonna take. Oh! Surprise burst at the end. That is what I love about burst. Um, is that they can burst right at the end. So, uh, yeah, really interesting to see um, that Wyvern got defeated every single time. Um, I'm pretty sure though, I do still like this Wyvern, it's really cool. Anyway, let's get right into the overview of everything we've talked about in this review.
really do like these Beyblades, guys. Um, especially the Doom size. Uh, if you guys do see any of these Beyblades, I suggest picking them up. Um, they're pretty cool. They're usually cheaper because they don't come with launches. But if you guys um, are just getting into Beyblade Burst, uh, be sure to buy a starter before buying uh, any of these boosters. So yes, um, I really do like these two Beyblades. I do think that Wyveron um, is still a good Beyblade. You just need to pop it up against the right Beyblade. And um, it, yeah, they can be given a really good match. So yes, thanks for watching my review. If you guys did enjoy it, hit like, hit subscribe. And until next time, it's Jay Pineapple signing out. Peace.